Hello and welcome to this video on the initial configuration for a web cluster node. Having installed the search appliance and data appliance, make sure they're running and then do the first boot and go through the configuration for your file of web appliance. Once that's come up and um, uh, you need to go into the configuration on port 9443. So go into a browser and type in https colon slash slash then the host name in my case that's filer web dot demo dot live colon and the port 9443 first thing that's going to happen is we're going to get a security warning this is because we're shipping with self-minted certificates so we just want to bypass that warning and we'll accept the risk and continue and then we get prompted to log in. Here I want to log in as VA admin and the password that we specified when booting the server for the first time and running through that configuration. There are a number of things that we need to do here. Um, first of all we need to uh, configure the appliance uh, and then at some point we need to uh, do an online update and then we need to uh, put in a proper digital certificate so our users don't get a security warning uh, when they attach to this server. So first of all let's just go into the configuration. It will then prompt us we want to do a large deployment. Click Next. It's prompting you for what database type you're running. In this case we're running the Postgres uh, database. Put in the host name which is in my case filerdb demo.live um, enter the database name and username which um, I've created previously when we first configured the database uh, appliance and put in the password for that database user click on next and then we get prompted for the search appliance uh, you may be running multiple search appliances, but in this instance, for the initial configuration, we only need to point to uh, one of those. So in my case, that's filer search one dot demo dot live, and then the Lucene's username. Leave at the default, uh, assuming you left it at the default on the appliance. Then put in the password that you specified when setting up that search appliance. Click next change your default locale as need be and here as far as the administration user ID is concerned for the first node that we're adding uh, this is going to be the um, uh, ID for the master user um, that can do administration within the filer environment and you can change this to be anything you like just bear in mind that the default password is going to be the same as the user ID after uh, you've first bring up the filer environment. Uh, the first thing that happens when you log in with that is it will prompt you to change it but just be aware if I change this to Bob then the password would be Bob. I'll leave it here at admin. Click on finish and that's going to configure the page here. Whilst that's happening let's just go through and do some of the other configuration that we need to do. So I'm just going to um, pop across uh, and we can import uh, the certificate into here. So on the digital certificate side, we just want to go in here. We've got an option for JVM certificates, uh, but we're not going to do a JVM. We want to bring in a web certificate. And here, if I just do a file import, and in this case, I've got a key pair already configured and let's just go and choose that file which is that one there and put in the password say OK so that's come in uh, what I want to do now is just make that as the active uh, certificate I'll say yes to that and I also want to bring in any intermediary certificates that I need for uh, this to work. You might have got these from your certificate um, 
authority. So in this case, I'll just bring in that one. And that's there. The only thing is, as we said, remember to reboot the server to get those to work. And that's still going. So next thing I really want to do is set up the online update. So at the moment, you can see in the top right, this is at a 4.0 level. I want to bring this up to the latest version. So click on online update. Uh, you've got an option here to bring it from a SMT server if you want. In this instance, we'll just use the Microfocus Customer Center. Put in your email address. And then your activation key. So this activation key you'll have got from the Customer Center or from your uh, evaluation download. Um, this you should have two sets of keys. There'll be one key for filer. There's a separate activation key, just so you're aware for the content editor. Um, I'm going to blur this out so you don't see it. Then click on register. This may take a moment or two, so I'll fast forward through this bit in the video. There we go, there are the patches. Uh, I don't need to worry about what order these patches are applied in, the system will take care of that. Um, and I can't, I, I have to apply them all, I can't uh, just apply some of them. Uh, so in this instance, I'm just going to do an update now. Then just click OK on the warning. Again, this is going to take a while, so I'll fast forward this, through this in the video. Okay, that took about uh, 15 minutes to complete. Uh, we can see all the needed patches have been applied. If I just look at the installed patches, that will give me a list of what it's just put on. So we've got those there. And often after applying those patches, uh, you can see in the top right here, it's telling me that a neat reboot is needed. Uh, but before we do that, uh, we just need to finish off our configuration down here. So if we just click into the configuration, uh, we want to go into the network, just check that that uh, is configured. We need the port redirection and uh, the four secure connection. So our users can just type in, in this case, filerweb.demo.live. They don't need to worry about HTTPS or indeed the 8443 um, for the Tomcat port. Um, the uh, other thing we need to just check on is the search appliance. So here, if I've got a secondary search appliance, I just change that to high availability, click on add, and then I can put in my search appliance um, criteria here. Uh, but in this instance, I've just got the one uh, search appliance uh, configured. Um, on clustering, should be enable cluster uh, environment. We should have JVM root being the host name here. And then down here with the memcached, that should be mentioning all the um, search appliances, which are the, where memcached runs. Um, on reverse proxy, I most probably want to change this to be um, the uh, host name that users are going to hit when they hit the load balancer to distribute the load between the cluster nodes. Um, and this is the address that's going to be put on emails that are going out of the system. Uh, also, ideally, uh, this should be on port 80 and 443, assuming that we've got that configured um, on the network settings to listen on those ports. The next settings that you need to ensure are right to the outbound email. So I can use a local postfix mail server uh, to deliver mail. Though I normally decide to use an existing SMTP relay. So I've got one here called mail.demo.live. Um, uh, check the port time zone to be correct. Uh, down here, 
I can, I've got the username and password. If um, uh, I have to authenticate to the relay in order for it to relay messages, then I can put the password in here and do authentication required. Alternatively, what I've done in this case is just allow mail relaying from all the file of web notes. Um, so we can do that. Uh, and then I've got the option down here to test the connection. That's come up connection valid, so we're OK on that front. Next thing that most probably um, you should be aware of is JVM settings. Uh, these get set by default um, on a new install uh, when you're uh, installing uh, for the first time. However, if in the future you extend the memory, say, from 16 gig to 32 gig, these will still be set at 9 gig. So you'd need to come in here and set this memory appropriately. I tend to set it between um, 50 and 75 percent of uh, the amount of memory in the machine. Uh, most probably as I put more memory in, I get more toward the 75 percent mark. The final thing that we need to deal with is down the bottom here, the license. So you'll have got a license either from the customer portal or as part of your evaluation. Uh, so just here, click on license. We can um, browse for a license. By default, we've got a 60 day evaluation license of uh, file or advance, but you may have an extended license or one from the customer portal. Just click on browse. Um, I'm just going to the downloads here. There's my license there, and I'm going to apply that. And then we need to do a reconfigure. This will take a while, so I'll fast forward through this bit. And once this is done, we'll need to just do a reboot. So having done that, if we just go to home, and we still had that uh, requirement to do a reboot, so I'll just hit on reboot here. So that's the file of web appliance for a cluster set up. And should you wish to add in additional web nodes, they, you do it in exactly the same way. I hope you found this uh, video useful. Thank you for listening.